Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and today we are talking about that new menu bar that iPad OS 26 is bringing to the iPad. This is a powerful new tool that gives you the access to the tools you need in the apps you're using, and it makes your iPad a lot more like using a Mac. And so in this video, I want to give you three solid tips for using this new menu bar. And at the end of this video, I'll give you a bonus tip that has nothing to do with productivity, but it is a new iPad OS 26 feature, and it's pretty cool and just makes your iPad more fun to use. So stick around for for the bonus tip. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the first tip we're going to talk about is that you can use the menu bar to access the new stoplight buttons, those red, yellow, and green buttons that you can use for window control. So when you're using an app full screen, you can't actually see those buttons. But if you scroll up with your cursor to the top of the screen to access that menu bar, you'll also see those stoplight buttons. And you can use those to close an app, minimize an app, or you can press and hold and get access to a little menu where you can resize your windows. So if I'm working in numbers, and I want to resize my windows so that I can have two at once on the screen. I can select those options and put one window on one side and another window on the other. Very handy and very useful for productivity. All right, let's talk about tip number two. So the second tip is that you get different menus based on the apps that you're using. And so for example, in the numbers app, you're going to get menus such as the table menu. So for example, if I'm working in numbers and I've got some columns and I want to delete those columns, I can simply go up to the table menu and and select delete columns. And there are lots of other choices there to control your columns and rows. I love it. But you also have some common menu choices that exist across all apps, such as the edit menu. So under the edit menu, you have copy and paste. So if I want to select some text and copy it and put it into another spreadsheet, I can just grab my cells, go up to edit and copy, and then jump into my other spreadsheet and select edit paste. Easy peasy. Another really cool feature about the window menu is moving a window to your secondary display. So I use my Apple Studio display all the time to give myself more screen real estate. So if I want to move one of these numbers windows to that secondary display, I can just go to window and select move to display. This is really handy when you want to move your windows back and forth between your iPad and your secondary display that you're working on. Give that one a shot. All right, tip number three about this menu bar is that it displays the keyboard shortcuts for all of these different controls in the menus. And that is super handy if you're a user of keyboard shortcuts. And sometimes you need to use a keyboard shortcut because the menu is grayed out for whatever reason. So example, let's say I'm in the app pages and I want to copy this title text and put it down below, but not as a title. I don't want it bolded. I just want it the normal body text. Well, you can go up to edit and you can see there's a paste and match style. So it'll keep the formatting that I want. Well, it's grayed out for whatever reason, but you can use the keyboard shortcuts. And so you can see there next to paste and match style, it tells you the button. Buttons, shift, Command, Control, and V. And you might say, well, wait a minute, Tech Dad, I don't know those symbols. How do I know what keys to press? Well, they're on your keyboard. So if you look down at your Magic Keyboard, you can see those very symbols on your keys. And so Command has its own symbol, Option has its own symbol, and so on. Very handy to know that. And so when I want to paste and match style, I can just use the keyboard shortcuts and paste it in there, and boom, it keeps the formatting that I want. Give that a shot. That is a huge lifesaver if you know those keyboard shortcuts. And if you don't know, just look at the menu bar. All right, the bonus tip. This is just a new iPad OS 26 feature, and it has to do with the Messages app, which we all use. And it's not for productivity, it's just for fun, and it looks cool. So if you pull up a Messages thread that you have going, and you want to change the background to this Messages thread, you can do that. You just select the icon at the top of the thread, and then select Backgrounds. And they've got some cool pre-built ones. They've got Sky, Water, and some others. Or you can just add a personal photo to the background as well. And it just kind of lights up your messages thread and makes it look a lot cooler. I love it. It's those little things about these iPad OS updates that make the iPad a whole lot more fun. So give that bonus tip a try and change up your messages backgrounds. All right, that's my rundown on the menu bar. If this video helped, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.